Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Chris. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're hunting Freddy Funkos. That's right, it was the QC Tax Time Mystery Box. These were dropped at $39 a box. There is a chance at some awesome Freddy Funkos. There are some fantastic ones, and they're all the ones from the recent SDCC. There is um, the Freddy Funko as Darth Maul. We've got a couple of the Optimus Prime ones. There's a ton of them. And so far, I have been keeping my eyes peeled to see if anyone has pulled any Freddy Funkos. And so far, I haven't spotted anyone who has. So, the chances are with us today. Hopefully, we can grab one of those beauties and add them to the collection. If you're new around here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you like the video, and throw a comment. Let me know what your favourite part of the video is. It's fantastic. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support. It really means the world. I'll put a link in the description box below to Quantum Collectibles. Of course, again, like I always say, if you haven't heard of them, um, heard of them uh, you must be living under a rock because I talk about them all the time. They do some great mystery boxes, and today is no exception. There is a fantastic amount of Funko Pops to be found, and I hope, I hope and I pray that one of these boxes has an elusive free Funko from the rest, recent SDCC. So, maximum was three, but given my luck with mystery boxes these days, I've opted just to purchase the two. So let's get into it. Let's open up the first one. Now, good old Quantum. Always throw in a little bag of goodies, and by goodies I mean lollies, so that's always good. Now there is, I believe, an opportunity to also pull from these a gift voucher. I think it's a $500 gift voucher. I can't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure there is a chance of a gift voucher in one of these boxes as well. So that's always fantastic to have a look at. What we're looking for is a hard stack. Now this one does not feel like it's in a hard stack. Let's uh, take that out. All right, so let's get rid of the box. We've got the bag of the lollies. That's the good stuff. All right, let's take that out and have a look at what we've got now. Let me just cut the... Oh, good, I haven't seen it. I don't know what it is, but I've been able to cut the bubble wrap. And <clears throat> let's see what Funko Pop we are getting. Excuse me while I just... Cut this and not get an eye of what it is. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. This bit is always the slow part for me. Um, all right, here we go. Okay, we've got it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. The pop number one is, ooh, this is the Charmander. This is the metallic Charmander Funko Pop from the recent SDCC. Fantastic. I don't have this in the collection. And of course, all, all these Pokemon Pops do go up in value. So I think this is one that will go up in some value in the upcoming months. So good one to hold on to. That is fantastic. I actually spotted this at JB Hi-Fi today. Thought about picking it up because I didn't have it yet. Glad I held off. Now, given these were $39, that's a $25 pop. So sure, I lost 14 bucks, but I think the value of that's going to go up. So, you know, that's it. And the second and final box... Box number two, let's hope we've got something good. I've had a real bad amount of luck with mystery boxes from Quantum for a while, so I'm kind of hoping maybe that'll change today. I doubt it. I don't know, just put it out. Bag of lollies, get rid of the box, get rid of the paper. No hard protector, which means we haven't got a Freddy Funko. Uh, let's just get uh, all right, here we go. I'm trying to do it so that I don't see what it is. No, didn't see. All right, here we go. Surely, come on, please be something good, at least. I mean, that's not gonna be free because it's not in a protector, but please something good, come on. Come on. Hey, old Quantum, you're sticking it all down properly and it's great. Protected. Slow me down for the video. All right, here we go. I think I've got it. Come on, off you come. Off you come. Oh, goodness me. I will spend more time bloody trying to unbox these things out of the plastic than anything. And okay, here we go. So, 
Oh, there's a sticker on that. I can't tell. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Pop number two. Oh. Okay, this is the SDCC Spider-Man 2099 pop. Not that I'm complaining. I'm not complaining because I've already got this pop. But um, yeah, it's uh, the Beyond Amazing Collection SDCC. I already picked this one up from Pop Culture in their Freddy Funko Mystery Box. So today, no Freddies. No Freddies. But what we have is we have two of the SDCC Funko Pops. So, you know, adding this one to the collection is good. This one can always use for the future for some trade bait. I reckon this one may go up in value at some point. It is a pretty cool Funko Pop. So good to add something to the collection. Um, yeah. Thank you again, Quantum Collectibles. You've got to be in it to win it. And like I say about mystery boxes, if you can't afford to lose, don't buy one. I can't afford to lose, but I buy one anyway because I'm a glutton for punishment. That's how. That's all fun. It's all fun and part and parcel of the mystery boxes. You know, hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. Um, and again, if you're new, please consider subscribing to the video. We do some awesome giveaways. We are less than 100 subs away from hitting 1,000 subscribers. And when we do, there's an awesome giveaway coming. I can't tell you much about it now, but there's going to be heaps of awesome things up for grabs. Can't wait. Anyway, uh, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Whatever you're hunting, happy hunting. And as always, as always, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.